you can still find overnight parking at Walmart and Cracker Barrel. And in this video, we're gonna show you how, so stay tuned. We are Charity, Ben, Dakota, and Trinity. We decided we didn't want to wait for a life of adventure. So in 2017, we bought our first RV and set off to live a life of travel in the USA. We've visited over 38 states in three years and have many more to go. Follow along to learn all the best places to see, RV and travel tips, and much more. So before we get started in sharing with you how to find those free parking spots, we just wanted to say a huge thank you to those of you that are supporting us over on Patreon. We really appreciate your support and it helps us to really focus on bringing more of these types of videos to you. So thank you so much for your support. When we're traveling from place to place, we really prefer to get where we're going as soon as possible and not break things up into multiple days of travel back to back. So that means sometimes putting in a little bit of a longer travel day and finding a spot to just boondock overnight in between stops going from one location to another. Now, Walmart used to kind of have the big reputation for allowing overnight parking for RVers and campers. And in recent years, a lot of that has changed. Now, why that that has changed is an interesting topic of discussion. And some people will tell you that that has been because RVers and campers have abused the privilege and have basically set up camp for days and days at a time in the Walmart parking lot. But it also has to do some city ordinances have changed. So in some cities, you can't have the overnight RV parking in a business parking lot like you used to. So it's really kind of a combination of both as to why that you're seeing fewer and fewer Walmarts allowing that overnight parking for our beer. So here are four Four tips on how to find overnight parking at a Walmart or Cracker Barrel. Tip number one, use apps or websites. I like to use the RV Parky app. There's also overnightrvparking.com or Campendium. You can read reviews from other users, which is very helpful because these reviews tend to be more up to date than maybe information you would find on Google or even some of the apps because reviewers have stayed there recently. So you can take a look at what that review date is and it will tell you if maybe this Walmart or this Cracker Barrel no longer allows RV parking. The other thing that I like for reviews in this regard is with Cracker Barrel, not all Cracker Barrels have the parking that is more big rig friendly, even though they advertise RV parking. Some of those RV parking spaces are definitely on the shorter side. We've got a big rig. I really like to know in advance how much space that we have to be able to park or turn around. So reading those reviews on RV Parky, Campendium can be really helpful in real time to know if they still allow overnight parking at that particular location or not. So tip number two, when you're utilizing these free overnight camping spots, don't set up camp there for more than one night. This is really geared towards just an in-between kind of rest stop, pit stop to be able to get to your next location. Because a lot of RVs now make it almost impossible to access anything like beds or a refrigerator if all the slides are in. If you need to put slides out, try to park in a location where those slides are not coming out into the parking lot. You can see behind me here where we've parked at this particular Walmart overnight. The slides that we need to put out are against a field area so they're not impeding any sort of traffic or parking for others or walkway for others so you want to make sure that you're courteous in how it is that you're setting up for the night tip number three be careful of where you park. You want to make sure that where you park is not going to hinder anybody that needs to patronize that business. So if you pull into a Walmart overnight and you just park right in the middle of the parking lot, that's not very conducive to the customers of that Walmart the next day. You wanna make sure that you park somewhere out of the way or in a designated area if they have signs designating that area. And then the other thing that you want to make sure is that you don't end up putting yourself in a situation where you can potentially be blocked in. 
we've actually had that happen before and now we're very, very cautious about how we park and where we park to be able to easily get out the next day if cars were to come and park in spaces around us. So tip number four, be sure to patronize that business that you're parking overnight at. Last night when we arrived here at this particular Walmart, I ran in, got some of just the groceries that we were gonna need for the coming week. If we park overnight at a Cracker Barrel, we love to have breakfast. And the nice thing about Cracker Barrel is breakfast is served all day. So make sure that you patronize that business, that you're utilizing their parking space and give them some of your business is just a way to say thanks. So you'll have to let me know in the comments down below what your experience has been with overnight parking in different areas as you're going from place to place. Have you parked at a Walmart, a Cracker Barrel? Where are some of the best places that you have found offer free overnight parking to be able to just stop for the night as you're in between destinations? I would love to hear what some of you guys have found for some great free overnight parking spots because we know so many of you are in the middle of planning those summer trips and those vacations. You'll have to check out the links below where we have a free trip planning template for you and also a free kind of camper packing checklist for you as well. So those links will be down below. You can download those for absolutely free. One of those is for dad. Nope. Uh. <laughs> There's another car fire. What is up with Georgia and car fires, people? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. If you'd like to see more videos with RV tips and tricks, you can check that out right here. And if you'd like to see some videos about RV travel and fun places to check out, you can check those out right over here. Until next time, we'll see you on the road.